What's up guys, Fubar Gamer here bringing you some epic balloon TD battles. Today we're going to be playing my cousin Charlie. He's got his own YouTube channel. His name is Epic Chucky, so make sure to hit that uh that link in the bottom of the description to check out his view of this game and his channel and hope you enjoy his content as much as you enjoy mine. So today we've been we've been going back and forth constantly on this game trying to get a good a good game to post to you guys so you can kind of see how we play this game and if you guys do it similarly or or just have tips that you want to tell us or want to see us do. But basically, no, he's online. Send him that invite. Basically, our whole plan is we're going to go with a straight eco, no banana farm, and no holds bargain. Just push into a, to a higher round. We're roughly trying to get to around 50. Me nor him have ever gotten that high before. So we're going to try and... Round 50 is our goal, but we're just going to try and give you some really good content and a really good gameplay to watch. So I think I'm going to go with the Ninja, the Super Monkey, and the Sub. Personally, I think uh, the Super Monkey is pretty much the uh, the tower to, for all the tower that you put in as the end game when you can afford it. When you have everything else pretty much set up, you send in the Super Monkey basically just to dominate, and that's what I'm going to try and do. Uh, my plan is to get him on the plasma and to the tier 3 on the terminator side. And right there, that should be basically enough to take out anything. So we're going to throw a barbed dart and twin guns on that sub for now. He's going to be start sending me balloons here in a second. And if not, I'll probably start the party off a little early. And I'm going to try and get my eco up between like 600 and 800. And then just from there, just keep upgrading stuff and basically, yeah, just try and get as many towers out there as possible to defend and try and to get to that mystical round 50 that we've been having such a hard time getting to. So I think we're going with roughly the same, uh, the same tower system of the, the sub, ninja, and super monkey. That's probably our favorite, especially with these, uh, the farming for eco. It makes it kind of nice uh, when you can just get a bunch and upgrade like the Super Monkey without having to wait too long. I think I'm going to throw some Ninja Discipline, Seeking Shuriken, and Sharp Shuriken on him, that bad boy. And just let him do work up top. I'm going to probably keep him uh, to the Flash Bomb because I know that there are camo leads that come out around like round 30-ish. So I want to make sure I got something up there to really stop those. And I'll probably have another balloon jitsu. Two balloon jitsus up there to stop a blunt force of the balloons that come through and have a, a row of subs. Basically applying the advanced intel fire from across the map. Then had the a couple super monkeys in the middle uh, to the terminator side. Basically just doing work and being the end game piece like I, like I talked about earlier. Alright, so I think uh, place one more sub out here real fast and throw advanced intel on him. Give him air, bars, air burst darts with barb. And that's going to stop anything that's going to be coming out of uh, him sending me balloons and or coming around the bend. So in between all these rambles, basically, I figured I'd let you know what Fubar Gamers is all about. Basically... I am not a strategist. I, I'm not really good at making strategies for games. I am not a strategist. I only play for fun. And so I usually play and have a lot of like really good content that I think is funny. Or I, you know, I always say some funny things that made other people laugh like my family members and close friends. And after a while I kind of figured, oh, why not try a, why not try this you know, try to make a YouTube channel and share this with more than just my close friends and family and see what other people think about my, uh, my commentary, my jokes, my, uh, my ups and downs and see what they have to say. So, um, I figured, you know, might as well just try out YouTube and see how it, how it is. So basically, right now, I'm, I can only upload mobile games. I'm a big Clash of Clan. My very first video that I posted on this channel, I, uh, I didn't even know what I was doing for the most part. I just uh, basically put up a video. There was no commentary. There was no real like 
footnotes, there's nothing. It just kind of showed an attack and then cut it off, and that, that's about all I had to offer there. But here, I can I have a nice little setup going. It's not the best quality or sound. I apologize for that, but for now, uh, it's all I can do. I'm going off my iPad right now playing this game. And I hope, uh, if you guys do enjoy my content, I can invest in some better equipment and getting some better videos, better content, better, uh, better sounds and more animation in between videos and not have all this, like, rambling, but actually have some, like, interesting stuff to throw into these videos as well. But for now, uh, yeah, I can only upload mobiles. I'm going to have Clash of Clans. I'm going to have, uh, a little bit of Boom Beach, Balloon CD Battle, maybe, um, some Agario. Uh, there's an iPad version, which I've been having fun playing lately. And, uh, and if also, guys, if you, if you have any, any games that you, that you play on your phone or on console that you, uh, that you enjoy playing but doesn't get the recognition that you think it deserves, please leave it in the comment section below. I, I love finding those, like, hidden gem games that nobody really gives the second, the recognition it deserves, that are always the more fun to play. So, if you guys have some games like that, please let me know, because I, I would love to check them out and give you my honest feedback. I, I, gaming is a passion. Gaming has always been fun to me, so, if you guys enjoy it, I hopefully I enjoy it too, and I can give you my, uh, my thought process and my, uh, my own two cents on the, on the game, and then, yeah, I figured that'd be a great way to, to communicate with you guys and see what you guys like and see what I can possibly bring you, and, yeah, that, that could work out pretty nicely. So, hitting round 20, nothing too stressful here, I think I'm going to throw another ballistic missile on him, and then throw some advanced intel whenever, there we go. And then keep farming on those blues right there. I don't want to send them any any heavy duty balloons because I don't want to get overwhelmed, especially with the the stripes and the rainbows about to come through. So I'm just send simple blues to build up that eco. Probably to around, probably to like 500. Then once I got 500, it should be good to start saving up for more things. Oh, ooh, looks like someone getting through. Nope. Alright, never mind then. Probably had a little mild heart attack over on his end. Alright, gonna throw some ballistic missile on him in three, two, oh, never mind. Already done. And like I said, I, I apologize for all these. Uh, if there's quiet moments, it's just because I don't want to be rambling on about nonsense. This is my first real, it's my first real try putting on YouTube, or putting videos on YouTube and trying to bring like quality content. So a video this long is kind of hard to try and not sound repetitive and start sounding like I'm just talking to you guys. So if there's, a, there's periods of quiet, I'm just trying to somewhat plan out what my next move is going to be. Like I said, my strategy skills aren't very good at all, but I'm still gonna still gonna try my hardest to to win and bring great content every time. Right, so I think, yeah, I'm gonna throw a balloon jutsu up there to help the, uh, the beginning rush of balloons kind of get weaker for my subs to kind of do work. Um, get we go, get him on balloon jutsu. Then I think I'm gonna put one more in the middle to kind of help clean up, basically. Throw him right there. Actually, we're gonna sell him and place him a little bit better right there. That way, when he gets ninja dis, or yeah, what was it? Ninja discipline, he'll just get that little extra range needed to start throwing his shuriken out already. Right, I think I'm gonna put one more sub in there. Give him barbed darts and twin guns. Then go back to farming for now. And it looks like we're doing pretty good so far. Nothing has gotten too far into our base yet, or our layout. So I'm feeling pretty good. Ooh, using a boost early. I think somebody's getting a little afraid over there. Alright, throw air burst and then here in a second, advanced intel. That's going to help clean up all those balloons floating through right now. 
I even just go back to Bomber on Eco. Like I said, I don't want to send him any anything too too rash, so that way I don't have to worry about him getting overwhelmed, especially with all those rainbow regions flying through. We should be okay. All right, we're over 500. I didn't realize that, so we're gonna sit back for a little bit and kind of let that build up and start upgrading all of our towers to get to make sure we're pretty much set for whatever whatever comes in the future rounds and it's round 27 so I'm expecting a big old blue blimp coming through here very shortly there he is I'm not too worried for a ballistic missile on that blue doesn't stand a chance now what I am more worried about is coming up is that round I think it's 34 round 34 those red uh, BFGs start floating through so hopefully we can uh, stop them without any real hassle we will see how that goes. We will see. Throw balloon jitsu on him. And then I guess our next move will probably be saving up for that super monkey. So I think we're just going to keep building up that farm a little bit. Oh yeah. Keep a constant flow going through. Then probably when we get to 700. I think 700 would be a good one. Off this $1.7. Once we get to 700, we'll be able to save up the super monkey without real any, without really any hassles. So that should be good. Dang, that, that super monkey on plasma just puts some work right there. That's just ridiculous. Oh, there's those, those camo. Camo Reds, those are just killers. Yeah, we've actually put out uh, about, I think this is attempt number five for a quality video to bring to you guys between me and Epic Chucky. And uh, we've, we've, every game we've always had something go wrong on either, either one of our parts, and it's just been frustrating all night. Last game, he didn't have anything for his, uh, those Camo Reds at round 31. So basically, ooh, I'm going to use a blue strike there. They're getting way too far into my base. Where did all those come from? Jeez. Alright, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Alright. Whew. That was way too close. Where did those guys come from? Jeez. Alright, we're, we're doing good. I think we're doing pretty good. What? How, what, how are those getting through? That's crazy. Uh, we need to be, I am not feeling comfortable right now. We need to use it. We need to use another boost. And I'm dead. What? What? How? How did anything get through? Did Did you guys? What? I did not see one balloon get through right there. Oh, that is just retarded. All right, guys. Well, I'm just gonna stare at that fat defeat word right in right in front of my face right now because I have no idea how I possibly could have lost that match. But all right, well, whatever game game is never wrong. So I'll leave it be. I'll let those flaming skulls of shame brighten up my glum face and I hope to be bringing you some more content here in the near future and I hope you